Hey, welcome to FK Sports. I'm here, Matt Carlson, with Al Geckel, and we're watching wrestling tonight. It's going to be It's South Hadley's taking on Frontier Red Hawks. It's senior night tonight. We're honoring seniors Connor Pettis, Miguel Overa, and Joey Hildreth. This should be a close one tonight. We got Jake Matson at the 106 position, wrestling against Caden Henriquez, Bailey Murray at 120, wrestling against Joe Pottler. Avery Tuttle at 126, taking a forfeit. Joe, uh, Jody Sozak at 132, taking a forfeit. Connor Pettis wrestling at 138 against Evan Newman. Victor McNutt or Rhea Chris McMillan wrestling at 145, taking on Matt O'Brien. Casey Madsen wrestling at 152 against Joe Maynard. Eric Truswell taking a forfeit. EY taking a forfeit at 170. Joey Hildreth at wrestling at 182 against Jeremy Rodriguez. Nate Austin wrestling at 195 against Noah Will. And Jackie Fong taking a forfeit Frontier. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. So this 
my second year as a coach, and I'm going to introduce these seniors. Um, I've been coaching for a little bit longer than two years, so I've seen these guys wrestle uh, some when they were in seventh grade, all the way up to when they're wrestling now. Uh, the first family I want to invite up here, we're not going to go on the mat. We're going to go behind and we're going to take a picture here too. Um, and I want to first invite Miguel Alvera Aguilera and his family. The next family member I want to bring up here is Joey Hildreth and his family. So the Frontier and South Hadley captains are meeting the center mat to kick off the, the meet tonight. This should be a good one. So Frontier choice. choose to be odds tonight. So it looks like Jake Matheson is going to be coming out to wrestle Henry, or Caden Henriquez. It's the first match of the night. Now this, is, this is Jake's first year wrestling. He's been off to a pretty good start. We've seen him a couple times here at FCAT Sports. 
both of his brothers wrestle. His, uh, his brother Casey's on the team now, and his other brother uh, Michael wrestles, wrestled for Tech until he graduated last year. So this is a family of wrestlers. Second year wrestler on Frontier. He had a great season last year in his first year. Tough kid. Gotta watch that line. Okay, so the wrestlers are tied up near the edge of the mat. Flavor Colt Bailey shoots. He gets sh sprawled on. No points yet. Joe tries to do a fast hand go behind, but Bailey stops him. Murray gets flipped. No points yet. Ooh. Murray has him tangled up, going for the pen. Still no points. Bailey has a front headlock. He goes in, but he falls down. He Murray tries to bridge out. Murray rolls over. That's two points for South Hadley. Five points. Looks like Green has five points. So it's South Hadley 5, Frontier nothing in this match. There is 55 seconds left in this half of the match. It's like both wrestlers fighting right here. Looks like Bailey's fighting to get out. He's going close with Joe. Paul Lock's trying to get that cross wrist right underneath, crank him over. Bailey's going for the escape. He's up. He has to get those again. hands, Ooh. and he's back down. Return to the mat promptly. Fifteen seconds left, and uh, looks like this has been all South Hadley for the first period. Crossfade. That'll be it for the first period. So Frontier's going to have first. the choice. He's going to defer to the defer to the third period or the, the second period to make this decision. Hadley takes bottom. So yeah, it looks like Hadley is choosing the bottom. We're going to try to get that escape point right here to extend the lead to six. But uh, we'll see if see if Bailey can prevent him from doing that. And it looks like looks like early on he doesn't get that escape right away, but he gets the leg. And South Hadley is going to get that reversal point. So now it's seven nothing Hadley in this match. Frontier has a total of six points overall match, with a minute and thirty seconds left in the second period of this match. Looks like um, Polak is going for the pin, but Bailey flipped right out of it. And now they're very close to that out-of-bound lines. They 
got to keep an eye on that, and they're out. All right, looks like the referee is going to return the two wrestlers to the center of the mat. So and front tier Murray's should be, be on bottom. Yeah, yeah Murray's going to be on bottom. It's 9 nothing Hadley in this match at 120. Barry's going for that escape, but he gets quickly returned to the mat. Looks like Murray's grabbing a leg. Tries to flip him over. He's going for that reversal. Flips himself over. Yeah, he's close to getting pinned, but he fights free. There's 30 seconds remaining. Yeah. It's South Hadley 12 to nothing in this match. Yeah, it looks like Green just got three more points from that exchange. Which went back, back points in reversal. And there's five seconds. And a second. Boom. Looks like Podak had him, had him tied up, but then he ended up again saved by the buzzer. And then Russell's the going to return back. back. So it's 14 nothing in this third period. And Frontier chooses top. Or did they choose neutral? Yep, Frontier, no, Frontier chooses top. top. Podak's up, and now he just has to get those arms free, but he's quickly returned to the mat. Hard by Bailey. Podak sits out, tries to get out again. But Bailey has a strong grip, doesn't let go, and it brings it back down to the mat. Again, they're very close to that line again. Bailey has to pull him in more towards the center of the mat. Bailey's trying to break him down, but yeah, you raise. If he breaks him down, yep, out of bounds. He has to be aware of the out of bounds line a lot more than he has been. So as both wrestlers take their position in the bottom, Murray tries to break Podak down, but he seems to try to flip out of it. And... And he, he gets the escape point. It's it seems and oh that's tech fall. Looks like Seth Hadley scored enough points that he uh, was able to end the match early on points instead of getting the pin. So it's Frontier six, South Hadley five in the overall match score. Alright, so up next we should be having Avery Tuttle coming out to take a forfeit. But there he is. And there's Frontier. So and that makes it 12 to 5. Now, I think that um, South Hadley is going to come out and have a forfeit as well. <laughs> so that should ev even it back up. Oh, boy. So... Uh, Frontier is going to do an exhibition match in the middle. So we're doing an exhibition match right here in the middle. So this was this is a match just for those um, JV wrestlers that um, not JV. Um, this is a match for those wrestlers that maybe didn't make weight or they had a forfeit tonight to still get that experience and uh, get practicing because Western Mass is coming up. I think they only have five more meets before Western Mass, before that big 
um, that postseason starts. So every wrestler is trying to get as, ma as much time as they can. So this is Avery Tuttle versus Joey Sozak. Seven seconds left in the first period of this expedition match, and so far it is even. No, it's not. Frontier has two points over South Hadley in this expedition match. There you go. So South Hadley just gets the reversal, finally. Tall try to sit out, but so is actually and on top. they're out of bounds. So they'll go back to the center of the mat. And an old Frontier will be on bottom, South Haldu will be on top. With 32 seconds left in this first period, and it's all tied up 2 2 in this expedition match. Tuttle gets broken down, and he's gonna, he's gonna sit through, but Slojak still has the arm. Tuttle tries to flip out, but they're again approaching that edge line. This could be trouble, this could be a pin. And yes, roll him over a little bit more to get that. Tuttle ends up on his stomach, but then he's very close to that out of bounds line too. Ooh. And that is that's the end of the first period. That one was close. Oh yeah, this expedition match is actually starting to look pretty good. Both the rest wrestlers in the middle. Tuttle shoots, gets sprawled on, ends up back on bottom. Slowjack's working that pin, but it looks like Avery's firmly bellied out. Looks like Slowjack's trying to crank him over. And he's got a, he's got a wrist and he's got a leg. And Tuttle tries to flip him, but He's trying to trying to get behind him. It looks like Slow Jackson maintaining control, according to the referee, at least. Tuttle rolls over, gets the two. But then so I have the returns and gets another reversal, and now it's the Tuttle's on his back. This could be trouble. Fifty seconds left in the match. And he has it. And that's the beautiful thing. All right. So up next, we should have Connor Senior, Connor Pettis, wrestling Evan Newman. This should be good. Connor got his. His hundred wins, well above that now. All right, both wrestlers in the middle. They're stalking, looking for an opening, feeling each other out. Connor shoots. And looks like he's gonna get the takedown. He gets the two. Frontier is the two. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. That was a 23-second match on senior night. Perfect. So that'll, that'll bring Frontier up to 18. So now it's 18 to 11. And we're going to go into the 145 match. It looks like we'll have... And we have Ido McMillan coming up against Matt O'Brien. So. Oh. 
There's a boat. Ito fakes a shot. He's trying to crank him over. Both wrestlers faking shots, making moves. And they're tied up in the center. It looks like Ito takes a shot. He gets the leg. Gets sprawled on, but he might try to outmuscle him. O'Brien gets headlock, but Ito gets ends up on top with it and with the two points. McMillan's still on top, and they're out of bounds. There's a violent begin to the matchup. Both wrestlers are wrestling very aggressive, going for shots, not wasting any time. It's an exciting match. It's a little start with a minute and 12 on the clock, with Frontier leading this match for the nothing. McMillan breaks him down, doesn't gonna get that escape point, and Looks like there he is, he's flat out. So Ito's got that cross wrist underneath, and he's got that elbow. He's gonna roll him, he's gonna go for the pin. If he can just hook that leg. He's, he elevates the legs, and O'Brien rolls out. But Ito does walk away with three back points, bringing up to seven nothing. O'Brien builds his base, gets onto his feet. But Ito brings him back down to the mat. Doesn't give him those escape points. So Ito lets him up. They're both in neutral. O'Brien gets that escape point. Both wrestlers tied up. Ito goes in for that blast double, and he wraps him up and gets him, but he's out of bounds. So when they start, it will be 14 seconds on the clock. We're at front two, leading 7-1. Both tied up. O'Brien goes for a shot. Ito backs away. Oh, Ito made a mistake. Gave him the leg, but he rolls him over. Both wrestlers tied up in neutral position still. No position, no control. And that's the end of the first period. That was an exciting, exciting period of wrestling. Both wrestlers wasting no time. Taking shots, making moves early. That's what I like to see. So South Hadley will be on bottom, Frontier will take top. What are they in the second period? Ito breaks him down again. He looks like he he's trying to he's driving that, that elbow down in, but O'Brien knew the counter. He got up to his feet, but Ito breaks him back down right away. So Ito's got that wrist. And Ryan's going to try to get on to his all fours. Ito rolls him. He elevates the legs. He's going back in for the pin. But O'Brien's got the strength to roll out, roll right out of it. No problem. As Ito's trying to grab that, that second elbow. If he can just get both those elbows. There he is. He breaks him down. He has both arms behind his back. You got to be careful here. This, this could be... He's just trying to roll him over and stack him up, but he gets out. He gets away. Both wrestlers neutral. Escape point to South Hadley. O'Brien shoots. Ito sprawls. Fast hand goes behind and breaks him back down. Gets the two points. So that brings Frontier to 11. South Hadley 2. Right at the edge of the mat. Ito's got the cross wrist, and O'Brien sits out. Ito's on top. He's got both wrists. He's pulling him in, putting all of his weight on the small of his back with his head. He tries to crank him over. 20 seconds left in the match. Ito's going for the pin. He's trying to sink a half Nelson, and he gets him onto his back. Looks like he has it, but looks like he... And that's Ooh. the pin. Very, very close to being out, too, on the... It looks like O'Brien was trying to scoot out of bounds there at the end, but Ito got the, he sunk that pin right in before he had the chance to. So Frontier will lead the overall match score 24 to 11 versus South Hadley. Great match, well fought. So up next we got one, the 
152 pound weight division where we have Casey Matson going up against Joe Menard. This one should be good. This is the second Matson of the night. The family of wrestlers. Alright, both wrestlers are walked up. Jerking him around. Casey's looking for that wrist. I'm trying to feel each other out. Casey goes to snap him down, goes to shoot. Back on all fours. Try to get the arm drag. Wasn't there. Menard goes for that fake shot. Casey feels it out and ties her up back. Casey tries to throw that elbow and get behind him, but looks like Menard sniffed that out right away. Casey's got that wrist control, goes into shoot. Menard sprawls, but Casey still gets that. Fast hand goes behind. Gets the two points. He breaks him down. Menard's trying to call out. Casey's got that wrist. He rolls the wrist underneath him. And he gets the half. Goes for half Nelson. No, he's going to try the other side. Back to the first side. He's playing a game. And Menard gets back on the force. Casey goes in for the cradle. He walks the arms, but it wasn't there. He breaks him back down. Menard sits out. Casey's trying to run that half, but Menard's defending it well. Both wrestlers are on all fours again. And it looks like Casey's trying to fight for that wrist. He's gay. He got that wrist, wrist out. Trying to attack the base. Casey gets the leg. Breaks him down. Still trying to run that half. And there's 30 seconds left in this first period. Looks like Menard trying to stand up and get those escape points. And there goes and the head gear. Casey's trying to run that power. Looks like he's trying to walk in a power half now. Looks like Casey's going to go back to trying to roll those ankles out. He's squeezing him with those legs. Push him in. And that was the first. That was the first period. Exciting match. A lot to see there. Both wrestlers are making moves. Looks like Casey's on the offensive and Menard's been putting up a more than enough defense to fight him off. This is a close one, 2 nothing, And it looks like Matson's putting his headgear back on. It flew off in the scuffle. And they take neutral. And they're going to take the neutral position. So both wrestlers are circling now. Just like each other out. Looks like they're going to tie up. Casey throws him off. Wrestlers are tied up. Casey's backing him down. He throws the elbow. Wrist drag wasn't there. He's pulling him down, trying to snap him down. He gets that front headlock. And Matson has the front headlock, trying to snap him down. He snaps him down. He gets to go behind. Two points. Casey got that. He's trying to get that cradle. Wasn't there. Going for the half. Oh, back to the cradle. He's trying to go for the bow and arrow. Wasn't there. Casey's got the ankle. Oh, there cradle. it is. He walk, tries to walk in the cradle, but Menard kicks out. He yeah, had those hands win. locked for just a second. And so there'll Casey's be back. a minute left. Casey's back to riding the top in this second period. Menard sits out. So it looks like Casey. Casey's back down. Tries to run the half, and Menard ends up back on his stomach. Looks like Casey's trying to run that half right now. Ooh. Oh, right now Casey's trying to stack him up. He's got two arms and a leg. And Casey's got that leg. He's elevating the leg. Looking for the back points right now. Menard gets that defense. He's back on his stomach. Casey gets three back points. So he's 7-0. With 15 seconds left in the second period. Casey's fighting to get that cradle now, it looks like. He's got that. He tries to break him down at the ankle, and that's the end of the second period. Another excited period. Yeah, neither wrestler gave up that whole time. Looks like Casey was on top most of the time, but Menard fought the entire time, always trying something. 
I was trying to get out of in get South out of a Hadley hold. will take bottom, Frontier will take top. All right. Casey's gonna get that. He's gonna try to walk in the cradle. <laughs> Hands were walked, but Menard kicked out. I think he has it now. Casey he rolled him. The cradle. He has a cradle. And Casey has the cradle. Let's see if we can get that pin. And the pin. That's the pin. That's the pin. Beautiful, beautiful cradle. He tried to go for it a few times there, but Menard kicked out. But but he finally got it. Right at the first beginning of that period, he was able to finally walk it in. All right. So up next, we're gonna have. Eric Truswell taking a forfeit at 160. Um, that should bring the score up to 36 to 11, Frontier. And we're and we're just passing the halfway point. We've got we have five weight classes left. There's no one at 220, so we're gonna have four more four more events. <laughs> we have a couple forfeits, a couple matches. This is gonna be it's gonna be a good match. Good meeting. So comes out here comes senior Miguel Overa out to the match to wrestle at 170 against E.Y. Petrowski. This is this is senior night. So far, the Frontier seniors have been winning. Um, <laughs> all one of them. <laughs> Connor Pettis won, and here's Miguel. So both wrestlers walking up immediately. Miguel goes for the shot. It wasn't there. Okay, trying to, wrestlers trying to feel each other out. Also, Miguel's at the wrist. Got the he front headlock. Miguel's trying to snap him down. Miguel runs the half, and he looks like he's in pinning. It's close to pinning. He got and it. There it is. Quick match. Another quick seconds. one. Another Miguel was wrestling match. up a weight class. Um, tonight, Miguel weighed in at 159, and he just wrestled at the 170 weight class. So he was wrestling 10 pounds up, and he still did a great job, got the pin. All right. So up next, we're going to have Joe Hildreth versus Jeremy Rodriguez. Joe is the third and final senior of the night. We'll see if we can keep that win streak alive. If I'm correct, too, all of them are pins. Yeah, quick pins, too. Yeah. Both wrestlers tying up. Joe goes in for the front headlock. Snaps him down. Joe's looking for the, you guys go behind. Joe's looking for that cradle. Looks like that, looks like that knee's up there. And Joe's got the, got the wrist. Joe's grabbing the ankle. Try to break him back down. And he's got the got the wrist and the ankle. Looks like he's and going he's for gonna, the he's going for a he went for a ball and chain momentarily. He's got the he picks the ankle again, trying to break him down. Um, Joe's got Rodriguez's uh, right wrist. He's going to grab the second wrist, this it looks like. Rodriguez sits out, tries to build his base. Hildreth breaks him back down. Rodriguez just gets back on his knees. And looks like Joe's trying to stretch out that arm, but Rodriguez brings it back in. Joe's got both ankles now. And there's a minute left in this first period. Bring it back down. Joe's trying to run half. He's trying to run the half Nelson, and it's not there. Still maintains that wrist control, though. Rodriguez trying to get out. And Rodriguez sits out. Joe's got that. Hand around the, the ankle and the other hand on the elbow. He's trying to trying to trying to break him down. And Rodriguez is he's strong. He's not letting it happen. So here, Joe's still working that cross wrist. And, and it looks like he's going to go in for the going for the half Nelson. Rodriguez gets back on his feet. And it looks like Rodriguez starts to get up. Joe goes in for the cradle, but Rodriguez slips out of it. it looks like I, I can see underneath Joe has his Joe's hands are locked, and he's going to go in for that. Oh, Joe has he was primed and ready for that cradle, but the period ended. So we'll see. We got Frontier is going to have the decision, and he's going to choose neutral. He's going to choose neutral. All right. And Frontier leads this match to nothing in the second period. The wrestlers just waste no time to get locked back up. They're gonna disengage. Playing with wrist. Joe's got the front headlock. And Joe's gonna have a chin. He's gonna try to break he breaks him down. Back in that front headlock position. 
And right now it looks like he's trying to run, a, run that cement job. He's going for that cement job. Is he going to... He's just sliding him back. Rodriguez is back to his feet. And they go back to neutral. No points on that exchange. Right there, the wrestlers are tied up. And Joe's got that right, right wrist. Then they go back in. And uh, there, Joe's got that front headlock. Snaps him down, goes for the cement job. And it doesn't look like he's there, just sliding around. And he's going for the other side of the cement job. Joe gets to go behind, gets two points. He's got the ankle, got that wrist. Rodriguez and gets Joe's knee. 50 seconds left with Frontier four points. South Hadley none in this second period of this match. Joe's got an ankle and a wrist. He's trying to crank him over. But it looks like Rodriguez is... He's got too good of a base. Joe's back in that front headlock. He swings back around to the back. And Joe's, uh, Rodriguez sits out. Joe spins him back down. Rodriguez sits out again. Joe follows him. Joe, Rodriguez sits out again. Joe follows him again. Looks like both wrestlers are pretty gassed right now. They've both been fighting hard for and four minutes. Ten seconds left. Rodriguez is going to try to sit out. Joe's going to break him back down. Four seconds left. Joe's got that. Joe's got the ankle. Breaks him down. And that'll be the end of the second period. South Hadley picks bottom. Frontier will take top. So it looks like Rodriguez is trying to take that escape point right here. Here's the lead. Looks like Rodriguez sits out, but Joe's going to get that front headlock. And he's going to try to get that cement job, but he's still just sliding around. And Joe's, oh, uh, it looked for a second there. Joe's got that, got that backside again. And, and that wrist, you got the knee and the wrist. Looks like he's going in for that cradle. Joe's got Rodriguez's elbow. And Joe's got that opposite side ankle, and he's got that hip, and Rodriguez is trying to, trying to sit out right now. Rodriguez has got each of Joe's wrists, and he goes in for that headlock. And now Joe's back in that front headlock. Rodriguez is back to the feet. Joe snaps him down. And he's going to go in for that cement job. But again, Rodriguez is too sturdy for the cement job we're working. It's not and there. And there's a minute left with Front Kill leading this match for the nothing. And it's third. Joe period. spins around. He's got the knee. Rodriguez sits out. And Joe's trying to wind him up in that cradle, it looks like. And he's going to flip him over. And he's got the cradle locked in. Joe's got the cradle locked in. There's 41 seconds left. He has to get the, get the back sweat. Rodriguez kicks out. But he comes away with three back points. So Increases the lead 7 0. 30 seconds left in the match. Both wrestlers are tired. They've been fighting the whole time. And Rodriguez gets to his feet. Joe snaps him back down. Got to get him back into the middle of the mat. There you go. Joe's got that front headlock. Rodriguez tries to grab that knee. And there's five seconds left. Joe spins around. He's got that, got that, with the hip, and that's the match. And Joe Hilda's going to take it by points, seven to nothing. That was an exciting match. That was the first. Well, we had, we had the tech fall, but other than the tech fall, we, we haven't had a, had a match go. We, we haven't had a match go all the way through yet. So that was, that was hard, six minutes of wrestling. And all three of the seniors got their wins yeah, on senior night. All three so of the seniors nice. got their win. That's nice. And um, now we're going to have Nate Austin go up to wrestle Noah Will. And it's 45 to 11 in the match overall. And these are going to be two undersized 195s right here. We had Nate Austin waiting at 186 this morning. And uh, Noah Will waiting at 181. So Nate's got that front headlock. He's going to grab it. It looks like Will got out. Will goes into the shot. Nate sprawls. 
He's got that front headlock position. He scores around, gets the two points. He goes and grabs the knee. And it looks like... So Chubb's got the knee. He's got the cross wrist route. He's trying to drive that face into the mat. And he's going to... He has it locked in. He's going to go for the power half now. But nope. He doesn't get it. It's not there. So it looks like he's going in for that bow and arrow cradle. But it, not there. Chubbs has the opposite knee, and he's got the got the wrist underneath. And Maintains control. Now a minute left with Frontier leading this match 2-1 to one over South Hadley in the and first period. Nate's got the left, an the left ankle between his knees, and it looks like he's got the... He's got both wrists under control. He's trying to go for that cradle, it seems. But then it looks like Will's trying to build his base. He's got to be careful there. And Will breaks away and then drives him out of bounds. So when they start, there will be 33 seconds, point .5. So both the wrestlers are back to the middle. 30 seconds left in the period. And now it's tied 2-2. Both wrestlers tied up. Will shoots. Nate sprawls. Goes behind. Gets two points. So Nate's got Nate's got a wrist. He breaks him down, and now he's bellied out. And he's got that cross wrist ride. That's important because once you have that wrist trapped underneath your belly, can't do anything with that arm. So it looks like Nate's gonna try to get that head underneath there, and exposes exposes weak spot to get the back. But there's only two seconds left. And that'll be it for period one. And South Hadley's going to have the decision. And they're going to choose bottom. Try to get that escape point and uh, close the gap between the two wrestlers. So Austin's going to take his position on top. Quickly grabs him, picks the ankle, and he breaks him down. So it looks like Nick's got he's got an ankle and he's got the head. He's trying to get that bow and arrow cradle going right there, but I don't think that he's gonna have it. But then Oh, he's got the head, he's got the he's got the knee, and that's it, he's got it. He's got the cradle. He got it. He got it. And it looks like Did South Hadley tap out or was that a pin? I don't I don't know what happened there. It it, it was it wasn't easy to tell, but Regardless, Frontier won the match and got six points up on the board. So up next, we're going to have Jackie Fong come in at 285 to close out the day with a forfeit. Yeah, and it looks like Will is over on the side. He's stuffing cotton up his nose. It looks like, it looks like he um, heard it and started bleeding in that last match. All right, and that'll be it. Jackie's going to come up, take the forfeit, and Frontier... He's going to win tonight on senior night in the Goodnow Gymnasium. All three seniors won. Exciting match. Exciting matches. And that's going to put the score 57 to 11, Frontier. So there was a total of six points, if I did it correctly. So I'm going to thank you guys for tuning in to FCAT Sports. I'm here, Matt Carlson, with Alec Echo, and we're watching Frontier Wrestling. It was a great matchup. Frontier ended up taking it 57, South Hadley 11. It was senior night. All three seniors won. There was a tech fall tonight. Don't see that very often when one of the wrestlers gets 15 points on the other. And uh, we, had, we had some blood. And uh, it was good. We had some. We had some short matches. We had some long matches. We had one that went. Well, I won that only one to the total of all three. And all right. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. 
Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs.